Hi everybody, Paul back here with a true classic and pioneering slice of original cinema from the legend and pioneering French director, filmmaker and illusionist extraordinaire Georges Méliès and this of course is his amazing 1902 film A Trip to the Moon and it is now available thanks to Arrow Video and it's on their Academy label uh, to purchase on Blu-ray and it gives us both the black and white and early colour filmed version of this classic film. Wonderful wonderful stuff. I mean it really is and it comes with this incredible book which is the original autobiography of Georges Méliès printed for the very first time in English language. Previous editions of the book released always in original French language. This with its incredible incredible imagery there and the just the luster and pure loveliness can't think of a better word <laughs> pure loveliness of the book itself I mean this is just a, a very very tactile embossment and it's just the quality is just there to be seen and felt and might sound curious but much like comic books uh, comic book fans will know where I'm coming from the smell the aroma of the book is incredible it really is uh, something not only to read to hold but to smell <laughs> really incredible incredible stuff uh, we'll get back to the book uh, shortly, but uh, delighted to have received this from Arrow Video and a true collector's piece, Georges Méliès' pioneering 1902 classic A Trip to the Moon, available here on Blu-ray from Arrow Video in both the black and white and original shot tinted colour strip effect. And uh, this heavy card bound Arrow Academy release uh, comes with this 214 page hardback edition, case bound edition no less. And uh, if like me, those of you who are not too sure what case bound is, it's uh, a, a method of binding books which sews single sheets together with an over sewn stitch in a hard cover edition. So quality without question uh, as far as this book is concerned. Uh, as I say it is the autobiography of George Méliès uh, which until uh, recently was never published in English and there are only 1,000 sets of this wonderful edition. Uh, so you've only got 1,000 opportunities to pick up the book in English and then it's gone. Once it goes out of print, I would imagine that the price on this will just skyrocket. It will literally take a trip to the moon. Um, it's just going to be so highly sought off after. And uh, it's just... Uh, it, 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 to have here in hand cannot do it. The full justice of doing the best I can to show you guys on film what we're looking at uh, just I mean it really is incredible incredible stuff uh, let's just try and open up the book uh, I mean it is there's very little sort of imagery inside it is the uh, pure autobiography of George Méliès but uh, just <laughs> just turning those pages there the waft of the air circulating around it just brings up that wonderful aroma absolutely incredible but uh, to read about 
his works, his journey, uh, the films. I mean, this guy made, okay, they're all short films. They're all sort of, you know, from about a minute, two minutes, three minutes, up to five, 15, sort of 20 minutes. But he made, during his lifetime as a filmmaker, over 500 films, going back to uh, 1895, 1896. I mean, that is some doing. Uh, I mean, it just shows you how hard-working, dedicated, and indeed pioneering, to use that word again, these filmmakers were back in the day. I mean, the quality here just, I think, actually properly complements that because the artisan work that they put in in making these films, <clears throat> I'm now saying the in plural, but we're talking about George Méliès here. In the case of George Méliès, certainly, the quality of effort just comes out on screen. And to have the opportunity to see this and hopefully in the future some more you know, a collected edition of some of his other short films would be absolutely fantastic. Just giving you a little sweep by there on the back of the book to give you an idea of uh, what the goodness is inside. But, uh, you know, 1,000 editions of this book. Just, oh. Th this is really just something very very special. I mean it really is. This, this um, again hard card bound outer protective slip cover effectively. Very simple. Oh, whoops. <laughs> very simplistic uh, in a very black tonal effect but um, you know that's absolutely applicable to the old style pioneering days, there's that word again, of what you know, George Méliès represents and uh, just absolutely all round wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, amongst the extras with the, the Blu-ray disc you get is a documentary of the film, it's rediscovery and preservation involved, the work involved in the preservation of this and there's also a short film about the life and work of George Méliès as well. But uh, let's just have a look at the Blu-ray as well. It uh, comes in a, a collecting, protecting card sleeve effectively. And so there we are. I just open that up. Very simplistic but very stylistically done as well. And uh, there nestling inside the little sleeve is the Blu-ray uh, nicely done. Uh, it, it's definitely yeah, fairly simple, but very nicely done in its simplicity. Uh, my own personal taste, uh, having that nestled in there is fine, but uh, as you'll notice we've got just all black there surrounded. It would have been nice, I think, to have had some pictures, sort of like in a, a standard Amaray Blu-ray case, having that background inner sort of artwork would have just highlighted it that little bit more, I think. Uh, so just a little bit too basic there, I think. Nothing wrong, but uh, just a personal taste. I don't know what your thoughts are, guys, let me know. Uh, to have some picture backing enhancement there would have just set it off that little bit more, I think. But uh, nothing wrong with the quality of the card and the protectiveness of that uh, Blu-ray. All very good stuff indeed. Definitely very, very nicely done, I think, and hope that uh, you agree. They've done a great job again, once again. Arrow video. Uh, just another little uh, tidbit, actually, of information uh, regarding George Méliès and uh, getting to making his final version of a trip to the moon. Yeah, I did say final version. Uh, this being made in 1902 and um, it was uh, or is a 13 minute version of the film but before that, some four years before, back in 19, sorry, 19, it wasn't 19, it was 1898, uh, George Méliès actually did like, I would guess, a pioneering uh, run 
uh, a dry run of his own film. He did a three minute version of A Trip to the Moon, uh, in which he himself plays uh, an astronomer in the film. And it was originally shot and called The Astronomer's Dream, three minutes long back in 1898, so some four years. But that, um, that blueprint became the full feature, 13 minute long, A Trip to the Moon. But uh, the, his film releases, when they sent the film across uh, to America in 1899, they changed the title of The Astronomer's Dream to A Trip to the Moon. So there's actually two versions of A Trip to the Moon, two separate films by Georges Méliès, uh, so 1898 and the classic, what we've got here, 1902 standard version that we all know of A Trip to the Moon. Uh, just a little interesting bit of information there. That was unknown to myself, uh, but you know, considering this guy's made over 500 films, perhaps no surprise at all. Uh, great stuff though. Thank you, Arrow. This for an Arrow Academy release is certainly something very, very good indeed. Uh, lots of goodness here, lots of extras that I haven't gone into. There is also uh, a J card which pretty much shows uh, and tells the information that is on the back of the hard card here, uh, slipcover. So same information, but uh, just to again give you an idea there, have a quick roll across, uh, that does come with it as well. So lots of goodies, uh, some extras on there as well. Uh, can't wait to dive in on this one. Let me know if you've picked it up, uh, who's got this one, who's looking forward to it. And uh, if maybe it's your first time you've ever seen uh, A Trip to the Moon. Uh, it's been a long, long while since I've seen it. And uh, it was back on you know old school BBC broadcasting showing of it in black and white, scratched edition, washed out, very grey toned. This will be phenomenal to see it in high definition Blu-ray. And uh, to have that original colour tint version as well as a comparison piece alongside the black and white version it's going to be incredible but uh, you know this is going to be put away safely as well because it truly is that collector's item and that book 1000 editions english version of george melier's autobiography just just phenomenal absolutely brilliant uh, truly is one in the eye for many of the movie moonshiners that uh, don't get anywhere near to the classic filmmaking of the golden era pioneering stage of movies. Wonderful stuff indeed. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care. See you all soon. Bye for now.